Okay, Vortex, something that I want to briefly touch on, and I say briefly in quotations because you know our tendency to be very long-winded, okay? But let's see if we succeed this time at doing what we say we're gonna do. Um, well, I've talked about this, the severe lack of empathy in this country, and you know, in relation to my other video that I did about those in East Palestine, Ohio, I hope I'm not mispronouncing the name of their town, but um, a lot of people don't know about that. Um, mainly all of these like liberal environmentalists, they don't even know about it. Um, there are some Republicans that have mentioned it, but I feel like the only reason why they mentioned it is because they want to make it seem like they're more informed than their political opponent. Um, but apparently like the federal government is not going to aid them and didn't Trump go there though? I thought Trump went and then like FEMA showed up. Yeah. Yeah. I do believe that's true. I don't know if Biden showed up though, but yeah. So basically this train derailed and then they caused this massive explosion that released all these dangerous chemicals into the air and poisoned all the water supply, killed a bunch of animals and plant life. And the kinds of people that don't think about things like that are scum. Okay. The kinds of people that like don't care about that are terrible, terrible people. And I know that I, I, yeah, I bitch about people that don't have empathy a lot and I should probably have empathy for people that don't have empathy, but I'm just too busy crying about all these other people that are, you know, actual victims. They never, they never get talked about. I say as I drink out of a styrofoam cup that was made by Monsanto. Um, yes, but yeah, like I was thinking about all the animals that are like negatively impacted by, you know, capitalism. And I was thinking about how like the industrial revolution is so crazy. Like that Karl Marx, um, It's like he achieved everything he wanted. Like what everything is happening now is because of capitalism. Like, so like Marxist ideologies have been pushed in our society, you know, like our judicial system is anything but, and it's because women are on top. This whole idea that women are oppressed is like the biggest load of garbage. Um, but it's because of like this push for money and power and more and more and more and more and more. So it's like all these really bad philosophies working together, but it literally wouldn't have happened if it weren't for capitalism. So all of the Marxism that you see is through universities, money, money, money. Okay. Media, money, money, money. All of, all of the poison, all of the ways that, that people have been manipulated and their bodies are experiments, essentially. Okay. Hospitals, money, money, money. You know, if you think about like all of the hazardous chemicals that are in all of our products, money, money, money. It's cheaper to make them that way, you know? So think about it. If you're a corporation or let, let's pretend you're just a regular ass business owner. If you're a regular ass business owner that doesn't give a fuck about the public, you just want to make money. 
you're probably going to do that in the easiest, most convenient, most efficient way. It doesn't matter if it hurts your customers because you don't really care about that because all you care about is money, 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 right? Now, I'm not saying that all business owners are like that. And I'm not saying that all people that support capitalism are like that. But I am saying that... Hold on. Hey, man. I just arrived. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Okay, bye. Yes, this is a flip phone, you guys, because I don't want to be a slave. Booyah. But anyway. Yeah, so I'm glad that she called me because, yeah, let me reiterate. Um, everything that they're trying to accomplish by enslavement, by poisoning us, okay, they can do that so easily when they get us hooked on their culture when they get us hooked on their system, when they get us hooked on their validation, it's so easy for them to totally fuck us, okay? And it's so much easier if you have a smartphone, especially an iPhone, okay? <sighs> but I, yeah, I was just thinking about how like all these animals, like a lot of them are gay, and, you know, all these endangered species. It's like they didn't choose any of this stuff. It's like human beings have chosen this stuff. Because the majority just goes along with it. You only have a teeny tiny minority that people don't even know about. I.e. Luddites. Okay? Most people don't have any idea who the Luddites are. So... It's like, if it's only a, a small minority that is opposed to the technical progress or the big business that's totally screwing over the little people, the big business that only cares about profit, so they don't care how hazardous the chemicals are, they don't care about infertility, they don't care about those chemicals fucking with people's hormones and feminizing everyone, okay? The greatest way to feminize men is by getting them hooked on technology. But try telling them that. They think that the problem is that women are online. I mean, I agree with you, but I also think that you're full of shit. I think that you're trying to back out of taking any responsibility for your part in the situation, okay? The reason why men act like women is because they hang out with women online. Okay, women have infiltrated men's spaces, and now men are infiltrating their spaces in prison by pretending to be women. It's kind of funny, but it's like all of this stuff, the majority just unconsciously signs up for without even realizing that they put their signature down there. You know, like those that are conscious, like myself, you know, we just get called crazy. We get called conspiratorial and paranoid and schizo. And it's not like they're wrong about that. But hey, we're enjoying ourselves, damn it. They're not. They're not. They have to check their phone every 20 minutes. So obviously there's something I'm doing right over here, folks. But, you know, animals, plants, they didn't choose to live in this world. I mean, it just makes me so mad. And it's like, I, I hear people that they talk about this tragedy in Ohio. And or they talk about, you know, Appalachians. And they're like, why don't you just leave? Yeah, why don't you just leave your home? Why don't you just leave the place where you've been your whole life? You know? It's just like the level of ignorance and arrogance and negligence for like anything of value. Like, if your whole family is in one location, and you're just like, well, why don't you just leave? It's like people that tell me to leave America. You're fucking stupid, dude. This is my country. I hate this country with a passion, but I'm never going to leave this country because it's mine. It's like I owe my people 
that I've never really felt connected to at all. I, I still owe them a piece of my mind. If I can help them in any kind of way, I'm going to do that. It doesn't matter to me if they accept that help or not. It doesn't matter to me if they agree with me or they just call me crazy. I'm used to being called crazy. Thank you, honey. But... <sighs> it's like all of this stuff in regards to like LGB, like it's, it's literally because of capitalism. That's what's so funny about it. Because it, if it weren't for all these corporations pushing these products that contain chemicals that reduce testosterone, we wouldn't have had this spike of homosexuals and people identifying as trans, okay? It's all about money. So population control, yeah, that's part of it. But it's more about money than anything else. If you think about all these different institutes... Like today, when I was uh, at that lake filming, I parked my car at like the Sarah Cannon Institute for Cancer Studies or some shit. It's like, think about how much money they make off of poisoning people. And think about how easy it is for them to get away with it because those people choose their fate because they're not conscious, because all they do is stuff their face full of cancer-causing crap and... They have a phone in their pocket that's always validating them, so why wouldn't they be addicted to it? It doesn't matter how much radiation emits from that phone. It doesn't matter how much their brain chemistry is constantly being meddled with. It doesn't, it doesn't matter to these motherfuckers. But the reason why I'm so mad is because it negatively impacts people that don't choose that, okay? Animals don't have a phone. Okay? <laughs> no, they don't. Unless there's something y'all know that I don't. <laughs> That'd be funny if they all had iPhones, but <laughs> they were keeping their usage under wraps. You know, they don't, they don't want anybody to know how, how much they secretly use their phones, okay? That would be funny, though. just see like a little like squirrel with like a iPhone <sighs> yeah I'm, I'm in fantasy land now because it's better to be in fantasy land than it is to be in reality but I, I think that most people are in fantasy land but they don't know that they're in fantasy land that's the difference between me and your average American is that I understand when I am exaggerating or being grandiose or taking things too far. You know, like, I get that. But if you don't know what reality is, if you can't even trust that what you're seeing is real, then, you know, you're more likely to believe bullshit. You're more likely to, you know, trust terrible people that have really bad intentions because, you know, there's no, like, solid foundation. So, that's why God is so important. And if people had that, they wouldn't need anything else. And they look around them and they go, why are people doing all this stupid shit? Like, when we have actual solutions that will solve all these problems that have been invented by people that promise solutions, okay? So, you know, I'm pretty conscious about this stuff because it's like, it's so prevalent, you know, and it's always been prevalent. For as long as we've been alive, we've been pretty aware of how fucked up this world is. I'm so grateful for that too, man. Some might think that's kind of depressing because I never really had a childhood, but it's fine. You know? Innocence is overrated. 
really is. Um, not to say that, you know, we children should be innocent. They most definitely should. And I mean, that's why I'm so hardcore about everything that I'm hardcore about. You know, anything that's bad for children is not good for a society, y'all. And so, you know, having a flip phone and trying to be a better example for these kids that are so used to seeing mommy and daddy on their phones, okay? They're so desperate for actual human connection. It's so sad. I see it all the time at the restaurant where I work. That's why the parents give their kids a phone so they can be addicted to their phone. I mean, it's just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting what people call parenting in this country. It's disgusting what people call life in this country. It's disgusting what people call God. Okay? That's why everybody's pagan. They're either pagan or they're secular or they're just total nihilists.